Hi everyone, this is a, an additional video on how to quantize in Soundtrap inside the piano roll. It gives you a little bit more control, so let me show you. I recorded this rhythm down here, which is two uh, eighth notes, four sixteenths, two eighth notes and a quarter, or one and two E and a three and four, or Utah, Mississippi, Utah, Maine. And I recorded that into Soundtrap. So you'll see, I'll play it back just by pressing play. Yeah, terrible, right? That's terrible. So I could, if I wanted to, I showed you this before, just click on edit and quantize. The problem is I'm so far off of being anywhere accurate to this. It's just not going to work for me to quantize. And please don't choose these little small things. It's just not going to work. It's not going to be right. So what I'm going to do is double click and look inside the piano roll. And I'm looking at this right here is uh, what I recorded at measure eight. And I'll zoom in so we could take a look. And let's take a listen to that one more time so you can now see it in the piano roll, how awful it is. Right, so we want to make sure these two eighth notes here are um, uh, right on the beat. So you could start by moving things over. I'm going to just mute this now so when I click on it, you won't hear it. Uh, so I know that I want all of this to start on the beat. So maybe I'll just start by moving it over. Ah, and I start to get closer. So I have two eighth notes. Each one of these little boxes represents a sixteenth note. How do I know that? Because I set the grid to make sure that I'm only looking at sixteenth notes. If you have an automatic grid size, remember every time you enlarge the screen, it's going to show you more and more boxes. You don't want to do that. So right now I have this grid size at sixteenths. So what I could do is since I played these two as eighth notes, I can right click, which is control on the mouse if you're using a Macintosh, and click and hold and quantize or right click with a mouse if you're using a PC. And I'm going to do this here is an eighth note on your Chromebook a right click is actually toward the right of your little mouse pad. So I can right click on this and choose eighth note and there it goes it snaps to the grid now these are not all the eighth note lengths are they they're not so let me turn this back on so you can hear what eighth notes sound like these this length sounds like and those are quite short a real eighth note is going to be quite long they're going to be two sixteenths make one eighth note so this eighth note needs to occupy two boxes of sixteenths and this one as well let's listen to the difference Hear that? Nice and long. Good. Let's keep quantizing here. So now I've quantized these. I'm going to select. Let me turn that off so we don't hear it. And I'm going to quantize these to the 16th note because I played 16th note. If I quantize these to the 8th note, look what's going to happen. Quantize 1 8th. Oh, they disappear. Where'd they go? They all snap to the nearest 8th. So let's undo that, right, which is Command Z or Edit, Undo. Right, Command Z is undo, whatever that was. Now I've selected these notes. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to quantize and to the 16th note and hit 16th note. Now they didn't quite go all in a row because I didn't record that well. So you may have to do a little bit of surgery here, as I call it. Move them over and make your note lengths correct. That's how you quantize. Now these want to be eighth notes again, so I'll move them over and this needs to be on the beat. So we might as well do that and make them nice and long, these eighth notes, or quantize first to the eighth note. And I could just quantize all of these to the eighth note. Why? Because even the quarter note starts on the first eighth of the box there, of the, uh, of the beat. So there we go. We'll make them nice and long. This quarter note needs to be nice and long. So now I have two eighths, four sixteenths, two eighths, and one quarter. And that's how you quantize in the piano roll for accuracy using Soundtrap.